I just wanted to, you know, watch a little TV, snuggle up on the couch, <laughs> and dub smash all night. <laughs> Sometimes we see eye to eye, and then sometimes she's just right. Another aspect of keeping a, a especially a long-term relationship going is dating. For us, date night is very important. It's extremely important to make time for each other. We all have careers. Some of us are parents. Some of us jobs with their overlap and stuff like that. And the world in general puts obstacles in your way when it comes to relationships. So you guys don't get that time together. And for us, I've always made it a point to date. I'll literally ask her out on a date, hey babe, you wanna go on a date with me Friday? So we'll plan and we try to do it every week. Every week we try to pick a day and have date night. And it doesn't have to be go out to a fancy restaurant or anything extravagant at all. Two weeks ago, our my mother-in-law, her mom took the boys for Friday and Saturday. Both of them. Yep, both <laughs> boys. And our date night was staying up till three in the morning doing dub smashes. If you don't know what the dub smash app is, it's when you have all these popular terms or songs. Movies. Liar! Liar! Get back, witch! I'm not a witch, I'm your wife! You just use the voice and you act it out and it was one of the best date <laughs> nights. With, like literally stripped down, no makeup, us in our pajamas just hanging out doing dub smash. To a three in the morning. We're like, you want to go out? Yeah, the say, kids are gone. <laughs> we didn't go to a nice dinner. We didn't like try to get out and get dressed up. And we're like, oh my gosh, the kids are gone. We got to go do something. No. We literally sat on our couch going through our favorite movies. They had to be our favorite movies. Mm -hmm. And just dub smashed all of our favorite movies. But not just sitting on the couch. Like, we had props. Yeah. We had like a Jerry Curl wig Wait. that we did for Coming to America when we did Soul Glow. I believe the children are our future. Thank you. Not playing around. We were in it. And it was like, to me, that was one of the best nights we've that's had. a great day in night. In a long time. It was awesome. And that, that's the point. You get to determine What's romantic, everyone's interpretation of what a date should and shouldn't be, it's up to the individual. Like, I understand that she had been working all week, I, you know, the kids and all of this, so she just needed to decompress. She didn't need to worry about, you know, putting on heels and going out and doing all that, so I just wanted to, you know, watch a little TV, snuggle up on the couch, and dub smash all night. <laughs> and since sometimes that is just what we do, and people have an idea of what's supposed to be romantic now, to us, some of our best times are sitting down watching television together. I love or our we're shows. Talking, we're a little bit of reality show junkies, so we'll sit down and watch The Bachelorette and we'll just talk about everything going on. And to us, those are some <laughs> of the most fun I moments. I love it. We don't need to be out drinking or having fun or listening to music. We can literally just be sitting on our couch talking about people on the television and how ridiculous some of the situations are. And some people think like, oh, get out. Why are you guys always at home watching yeah, TV? To us, that's what works for us. That's that's how we have fun. That's sexy to us. Yeah, it's 100%. <laughs> you have to continue to date. You have yes. to want to do things that both of you enjoy doing and, and keep it fresh and new. And dating doesn't necessarily mean go on a date. You just have to date each other. You have to date each other. You have to spend that time with each other. Thank you guys for joining us. Please tune in to our channel. Tune in to Family. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like this video. <laughs> Let us know some of the things that you've done keep that spark and that flame in your relationship.